Okay, e-bikers, I've got a lightweight, low-priced, commuter-style e-bike for you today on the channel. Uh, this is the Act Best Core City Commuter. They're a, uh, a newer brand uh, on the market. I think it's actbestbike.com is their URL. And this package here is not bad uh, for the price. I'll get to the price in a minute. But uh, it comes in a nice gray color here with front suspension with uh, CST city tires I'm not exactly sure these are like two inches maybe um, not maybe not even um, you got fenders on the thing front suspension which is actually fairly decent for a low price D bike with lock out there front lights you got a tail light as well I forget if the brake uh, works that brake light works but uh, we have a 500 watt motor back here on the uh, the e-bike. We've got a nice uh, chain cover. I've never seen one of these on an e-bike before. It's a nice touch. Um, and a 36 volt, 13 amp hour battery here. That's good for 468 watt hours of travel. Um, pretty nice looking e-bike. I like the saddle. Nice little brown saddle here. Uh, the seat post was a little bit stuck, so I had to pull it out of there almost. It's a little scratched up because of that. Um, but uh, not too bad. Here's the rack back here. You get the little clamp. You can put uh, your jacket in there or something like that. It's even got little uh, uh, spaces here for a uh, bungee cord. If you want to wrap one of those around there, I like that touch. And um, what else? Here's the front headlights. With a small reflector there. Cable management is okay, uh, could be better obviously. And here's a look at that cockpit. Uh, you got these faux leather grips, really nice looking tan ones. Mechanical disc brakes, seven speeds, a uh, bell, and a uh, little uh, finger throttle there. Uh, let me turn it around here. Here's the LCD display. It's actually very bright. It gives you percentages and battery bars. Uh, we have five levels of assist, okay, and uh, it's a nice little LCD panel um, for what you're getting here. Oh, the stem is uh, adjustable, a little bit anyway. I think it's like a 60 degree stem, I think, on there. And here's the battery in the down tube. And just a little bird's eye view of the bike. Let's talk about geometry a bit. The bike weighs 59.5 pounds, so it's fairly lightweight from that perspective. Uh, it's about 56 inches long, and the right, uh, recommended heights for the riders: uh, five four to six five. I'm six foot. I fit okay in this. It's I'm not the it's not the perfect fitting e-bike, but I think it's uh, has a decent range of rider heights there for you. The minimum seat height is 29.5 inches from the ground, so I have it up probably at like 34 there. But um, yeah, it's uh, 29.5 inches is the minimum seat height. All right, well, let's get on the road, do a performance test, and see how this low-priced e-bike does. By the way, the price on this thing is a very affordable $7.99. It's on sale. Uh, normally, it's $10.99. Um, and for that price, uh, I think it's a pretty good value. We'll have to see how it performs. But uh, from what I see here, that's a very good price for the specs you get. All right, let's go. On this act best core city commuter uh, fit for me is okay I'm, I'm leaned over a little bit um, 
There's some rubbing going on in the front uh, wheel up there with the brake rotor. Just rolling here. It's got really good rolling resistance with those three tires. It's got a little like, power indicator here on the um, LCD display. It's a nice little display. I like it. Let's go check out these PS levels and uh, see what this thing is like. They say top speed is 22. All right, so I'm in PS1. And we're doing about 8 miles an hour. 8.8. There's 9. There's truck to go by. So 9 miles an hour, PS1. PS2, we got... It's like about 12. Uh, 12.8. 12.9. We get 13. No. All right, PS3. Getting some ghost pedaling now. I'm kind of spinning my uh, wheels here. We're doing almost 16. 15.7. PS4. Got for 36 volts, got some pep. Uh, PS4, we're doing 17, 18 miles an hour in the corner here. And let's hit the top speed now with pedaling. And we get 22. There's 21. I'm really spinning my legs here. There's 22. Wow. Yeah. This thing definitely needs a bigger chain ring down there. Let's try throttle only. Actually, we'll, we go down the hill here and we'll try throttle only. Speed, try the shocks. The shocks aren't bad. Getting some nice travel down there. All right, let's do, a, let's do throttle only here. It's got a pretty good pickup. We're at uh, 19, 20. 20, come on, 22, where's 22, 21.8, all right, no cars coming, 21.8, yeah, it doesn't want to seem to crack 22 there, that's okay, oh look, it's got cruise control, I'm in cruise control, doing 22 miles an hour. If you hold down the throttle for like, I don't know, five seconds maybe, uh, it goes right into cruise control. So a nice touch there. All right, here's the hill test. And uh, went on a, a short hill before. It seemed pretty good, so let's do throttle only first. Let's this first part again, 500 watt motor with a 36 volt, 13 amp hour battery, so. We're at 97% as far as the power goes. We're doing uh, five miles an hour up this first part of the hill. It's working, it's going slow, but it's working. We're at 4.7, there's 4.9. Starting to climb a bit here as we level out a little bit. I'm gonna start pedaling here. We're in PS5, I'm in fifth gear. Um, this bike has a pretty small chain ring, so. Definitely some ghost pedaling at the higher speeds. All right, we're doing 8.5, climbing, nine miles an hour. I would, on the steeper part up here, I would expect to get no less than, let's say, eight miles an hour out of a 500 watt motor. So uh, you can see it up ahead there. That's just after the shady part. That's the steepest part of this hill. It's about a 10% grade, I think, right there. Now we're doing 10 miles an hour. So far, so good. All right, starting slow now as we start to climb. Uh, well, there's seven. 0.5. I'm starting to work my legs a little bit. Steady at 7.5, 7.4. So, let's go below seven. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, there's 6.8. 
Come on, motor. 6.5. All right, 6.5 was the lowest, so. Yeah, I mean, it's it got you up the hill. You had to work a little bit. Um, but uh, that's probably one of the lower. Uh, now just, wow, just kicked right into the cruise control there. That was weird. Um, it keeps climbing on me now. Look, it's going up to uh, top speed here. Let's see how it does on this hill right here this, with the cruise control on. All right, now we're down to 17, 15, 11, 10, 9. Can it make it? 6, 5, 4. It's going to make it. It's going to make it all on cruise control. Up that hill. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know why I went into cruise control there. That's a little unusual because I wasn't holding anything. All right, let's do a downhill run and uh, test out the brakes at the end. Okay, here goes our downhill. Just going to coast, see what kind of speed we can get to. And check those brakes at the end. Let's see how stable this thing is at the higher speeds. We're already at 23 almost. Twenty-three, twenty-five. Ah, oh, really picking up speed here. There's thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-two point six. Thirty-four. Wow, that thing was fast down there. I might hit thirty-five if I get the go in there. And the skinny tires and the light weights definitely made it a speed runner down there. Brakes are fine. Um, again, a little bit of rubbing up front. There goes the cruise control again. All right, let's go wrap this up and uh, give you my final thoughts. All right, so let's talk about uh, this e-bike likes and dislikes. So. Uh, I like the overall functionality you get with it with the rack and stuff it also has a uh, quick release front tire there it's always helpful uh, if you don't have a bike rack or anything you know the adjustable stem up front I like the little finger throttle you get um, I think the uh, step through design will appeal to a lot of people it's kind of nice got a nice reinforcement there here's your bottle cage bosses or a lock if you want to put that there you know, it's got derailleur. Shimano turning down there on the derailleur. Um, you know, metal fenders. So, for from a value perspective, it's a good value, um, in my opinion. Uh, of course, you don't know the company that well. Now, uh, one caveat: they sent me a they sent me a bike, it's the same bike, and the battery kept shutting off on me. So I requested a new battery. They ended up sending in the whole new bike itself. So I just swapped the battery out. Works just fine now. So no issues now. Uh, it does have a one year warranty on this, by the way. So uh, you can get your money back or have them ship you out a new bike if you need to. But um, that's kind of the main drawback of these direct to consumer companies. If there's a problem, uh, you know, you have to deal with somebody in China. Um, but uh, you're, you know, for the price you're getting, that's what you have to deal with on some of these things. So just keep that in mind. But uh, once I got the new battery, bike works just great. Um, I like the overall components you get, the rack, the nice seat. Uh, the LCD pa panel is really nice. Um, nice full leather grips. I like that finger throttle, it's kind of neat. Let's talk about dislikes. So, uh, first of all, the ghost pedaling on this thing is pretty, pretty bad at the, once you get past like PS2, um, you definitely need a bigger, it's a really small chain ring down there. Um, that's one of the smallest ones I've seen on an e-bike. So you'd have to change that out. You might have to lose the uh, cover guard if you do that, um, because it probably won't fit on a bigger chain ring. But uh, that's the that's the biggest drawback of this e-bike is the ghost pedaling. 
Now you can get around that by, you know, uh, uh, throttling it more, but you're gonna lose range, of course. So I, I would expect to get about 30 miles on a bike like this uh, in real world conditions, going up and down hills, you know, um, using PS2 and 3 um, go overall. But, uh, you know, I, I, again, I can't complain about the price and what you get for that. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a solid value for $7.99 for what you get here. So go check it out. It's actbestbike.com. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, that's it for now, guys. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. More e-bike reviews coming your way.